welcome to study online today we will discuss about quadratic equa equation ya quadratic inequalities this is the part 1 our facebook group is study online please join this group okay let's start this is a equation x square plus 10x plus 24 is equal to 0 and 4y square minus 17y plus 18 is equal to 0 okay we have to establish relation between x and y these are the option whether x is less than equal to y greater than equal to y or there is no relation or x is greater than y or less than y this is ipcs po question okay so we can solve quadratic equation within 20 seconds let's start in first step we have to find what is the coefficient of x square here it is 1 coefficient of x square is 1 okay and what is the constant value 24 okay now we have to write this coefficient multiply by this constant that means 1 multiply by 24 that is 24 24 okay this is rough work okay now we have to do factor of this 24 to 24 we have to do factor of 24 in such a way that by adding them we will get the coefficient of x and by multiplying them we will get again This twenty four. Suppose I divide this in four and six. Okay. Now if we add them, this will be ten, and if we multiply them, this will be twenty four. Okay. That means this is plus four. This is plus six. Then only we can get plus ten. Okay. So whatever the value of this factor came. just reverse the sign to we have so that we can find the value of x so the value of x will be here minus 4 and minus 6 just reverse the sign and these should be divided by the coefficient of x square okay so these should be divided by 1 so there is no effect on dividing by 1 so it will be minus 4 and minus 6 only so this is the value of x first value second we have to find value of this function coefficient of y is 4 coefficient and the constant value is 18 if we multiply them this will be 72 72 divide this 72 in such a way that by adding we will get this one and by multiplying we will get again 72 that means if i divide it into 9 and 8 that will be 72 but there is minus 17 that means this will be minus 9 this will be minus 8 then only if we add we will get minus 17 okay so this factor is minus 9 and minus 8 then the value of y will be opposite of opposite of sin That means minus nine will be plus nine, and minus eight will be plus eight, and this should be divided by factor of, sorry, coefficient of y square only. So divide by four, divide by four. That means nine divided by four. That means two point two five plus, and here it is plus two. Okay, these are the value of y's. y value okay here we have to divide the coefficient these values by coefficient of x square and here by coefficient of y square okay so x values are negative and y values are positive both values are positive here both are negative that means y is greater than x or we can say x is less than y okay that means Fourth option is true. X is greater than. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
y is greater than x is less than y. Fifth option is true, not fourth. X is less than y. This one is true. Okay. Let's have one more question so that you will get better clarity on this method. Okay. Listen. Listen. Coefficient of x square is 1. Here constant value is 6. 1 multiplied by 6, we will get 6 only. Now we have to factor 6. Factor of 6 says that by adding them we will get 5. That means I can make it plus 2 and plus 3. Okay. If we add them we will get 5 and if we multiply them we will get 6. That means these are the factors. Okay. So the value of x will be opposite sign of this. That means minus 2 comma minus 3. Okay. And we have to divide it by coefficient of x square. Okay. That, that is 1. So there is no effect on dividing by 1. So the value will be x will be equal to minus 2 and minus 3. And the next one is y square plus 7 by plus 12 is equal to 0. Coefficient of y square is 1. And constant value is 12. 1 multiplied by 12. That is 12 only. Now we have to do factor of this. So by adding them we will get 7. So factor of 12 will be 4 and 3. Then only we can get plus 7. Okay. That means the value of y will be equal to opposite sign of this. Always take opposite sign. Whatever the factor came take opposite. Okay. That will be minus 4 and minus 3 only. And in the last step, divide the values by the coefficient of either x square or y square. This is the y square equation. Here coefficient is y square. So we have to divide the value of divide the value by coefficient of y square only. So we have to divide it by 1. So value will be minus 4 and minus 3. Okay. These are the x and y values. Now listen. X value is minus 3 here and minus 3 here also that means x is equal to y this is the one case x is equal to y this is the one case okay and the second case will be here it is x minus 2 and here y is it? minus 4 that means x is greater and y is less second x is greater than y that means by combining these two we can get x is greater than equal to y solution Okay friends, I hope you got this trick. This is the part 1 of the quadratic inequalities. In the next part, we will do some more questions. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe my channel friends. Okay friends, thank you.